Hey, parenthood does not come with an instruction manual, but I compiled a list of things to help. Let's dive right in with parents. This page offers you a very real, unfiltered opportunity to get stories from parents of a variety of backgrounds, but who are experiencing things just like you. They have podcasts, tips of the day, a variety of stories about what's happening in society and how to approach and address these things with our children and how to really just continue moving forward, having a number of conversations. It's definitely an awesome resource to explore. Next up is Parent Q. This page is all about helping you be the parent you want to be. They have a wonderful community and they help you every day by giving you just very inspirational thoughts to think about as you move into your day and move into your lives with your children. They have a number of resources if you check out their link tree via Instagram that help you um, support your kids. They give you devotionals and guides to help parents specifically, guides for graduations. They have a blog. They have different courses and again, a number of valuable free resources. So this is definitely something that you want to add to your list to check out. Next up is Parents Together. Parents Together is actually a 501c3 nonprofit organization that provides news and parenting tips to help families thrive. They offer daily parenting tips and have a number of videos that are saved, a number of Q&As that they've saved as well, but that really help guide you through a variety of tough conversations that we tend to have with our children, but kind of help you get a head start on it or serve as a resource for you to go if you feel like these things are coming up swiftly for you and you may not know what to say. I definitely find myself referring to this page often. Next up is New York Times Parenting. Here you can get evidence-based guidance and personal stories that matter to you. They have a link for you to head over to to really tap into everything that they post and go into really great detail. They give you statistics, the advice that you feel like you probably actually need. All these things are located here. Um, they really dive deeply into stories of very important things happening around us and help us to have these conversations with our children as well as to get deeper in touch with ourselves. There's so many things that we experience as parents that seem sometimes often hard to discuss or feel like we don't know where to turn and I feel like this page really provides great and valuable information. Next up is one of my absolute favorites, Professor Emily Oster. She is so amazing at giving us um, data. She writes books and newsletters to help make parenting decisions a little bit easier. I really enjoy getting her newsletter to my email. It helps me in kind of trying to process everything going on. She just really does a great job in explaining everything about data surrounding pregnancy and parenting. Next up is the Every Mom. It's the ultimate online resource for the modern mom. They give you all of their favorite things regarding from toddler toys to clothing for parents and children, um, equipment, strollers, you name it. And they give you a really great laugh because you're able to take time to scroll through and listen and understand things from parents that are experiencing things just like you. So walk, don't run to check out the Every Mom page. I'll also sign up for their newsletter and get everything directly to my inbox. Next up is Raising Mothers, another personal favorite of mine because it is an award-winning magazine and community committed to celebrating Black, Indigenous, and Brown parenthood. It's been around since 2015 and it has really helped me in my motherhood journey. Oftentimes I experience, you know, different disparities that Black women experience in pregnancy and in birth and postpartum. Um, and so this page has been very helpful in helping lead me to the right places and to asking the right questions. It's just having people who look like me that can help support me along my journey. Next up, we have Motherly. This page offers shopping and retail, but even more so, it's a community where you can come to help feel supported, especially during that time of pregnancy leading into birth and postpartum. They offer a variety of different classes, they discuss money, they have videos, gift guides, wellness, lots of different information. I'm huge on community and I think this is a great one. 
Next up is Mother Mag and what I enjoy about this page is that you can get everything from what kind of books and fun things for yourself and for the kiddos um, to help take care of you and take care of them that they find to be their favorites as well as read in-depth stories of people experiencing the world just as we do. It's a great space to go and really feel community. Next up is another favorite, it's the Dad Vibes. He definitely gives you a positive, motivational, validating story and insight into parenthood. This is one that I find myself coming to over and over again. It's a very um, inspirational and insightful way to look into parenting. Can you hear my kids knocking at the door? Just in case you wondered if I was really a parent. But anyway, check out his page. Um, it's very helpful and it really is awesome. This next page with Dr. Becky is another amazing resource. Um, she really breaks down how to respond to your children, how to respond to yourself, and as you go through what you're engaging with and maybe how you're engaging with things and how to maybe put forth your best foot and give a better response instead of just going to some default punishment or default yelling or default kind of just closing in. She really offers such a good variety of information. She is a psychologist. I'm also a fan of her podcast as well as her newsletters. She gives you very straightforward information and gives you amazing examples to break it down along the way. Make sure you check her out, go back through and look at everything she has to offer. On to Destiny Ann. She is an incredible certified parent coach. She really discusses all things gentle parenting and whether or not you feel like you want to gentle parent your child or you have questions about it. Um, I feel like she gives you the most real life perspective there is regarding gentle parenting and how it's actually not just a lazy way to parent or just the easy way to you know, kind of just let things kind of slide through the cracks. She is so real, so down to earth, and she also offers good insight into co-parenting as well. So check her out. Next on my list is Big Little Feelings, and that is exactly what it does. It helps you with those big little feelings from your toddlers and their toddler experts and help you kind of navigate that toddler stage. They create wonderful videos and content that help give you a variety of opportunities to discover different ways to kind of just navigate your child's tantrums and breakdowns, potty training, picky eating, the whole nine. We've actually even purchased their course, and it is a great tool to help you through toddlerhood. I really suggest you checking them out. I also subscribe to their newsletter and it's just great to get different things in your inbox every day that help you along the way because at some point it's probably going to align with where you are and it's good to have that support. Continuing into that fun toddler stage, here's transforming toddlerhood and that's exactly the thought behind it is to help you transform some of those things that we tend to think of terrible twos um, ferocious forwards, whatever it is that we call all of these things, but to just find different ways to get in touch with your child, to meet them where they are, and better navigate the toddlerhood journey. Keeping in the wonderful theme of toddlerhood, next up is Busy Toddler. Um, Susie really helps you find activities and things to do with things you have around your home, things that you may want to throw away but you don't have to because you can repurpose them to really help you get through moments with your children um, to help them continue to learn and to grow through play. She's a former kindergarten teacher and a now stay-at-home mom as well as former curriculum specialist so she really knows how to break things down in a way that's not only going to help you as you find activities to do with your child but help them have fun in ways that are not your typical let's spend a lot of money on a program or go all out to buy all these different toys and other things so definitely add her to your list for activities and things to do mother could really offers up some of the most amazing activities and recipes out there she has activities where you would use maybe paint you think but she makes it so that it's edible so your children don't just you know as they will stick things in their mouth and it be harmful to them i love everything she creates and comes up with the boys and i have tried a number of these activities and they enjoy them each and every time i appreciate every single hack that she offers and i can't go a week without coming to this page if you need more activities seven days of play is the perfect place to go 
So this is exactly what it will help you do. If you needed seven days of play, you can go pick seven activities and move right along without any of the fuss of having to Google and figure it out. You can plan in advance and go ahead and have fun activities set up for even a ways out. If you just plan it by just going through a page and taking activities from there. I love these resources because they really make all things activities and parenting much more convenient. Right along to inspire my play, this is a wonderful sensory tray that was created um, that, as you can see, allows you to do a variety of fun projects and art activities. I really think these hands-on things like this help your children to grow and explore and become much more creative in and of themselves. Switching gears back over to baby life, um, the little milk bar is very helpful in a breastfeeding journey. She gives you tips and tricks on um, who, what, when, where, how, all the things regarding breastfeeding, and she really helps me become much more comfortable, I know, in my journeys to breastfeed, um, and just the awareness of how much it helps the child, and weaning, and your clogged ducts, and the like. Tots on Target is another favorite page as your children continue to learn and grow, especially 0 to 12. This They offer a lot of child development um, features that help you kind of know and stick to where you feel like your child should be or if you think there are some concerns or delays, but just different activities to try with your children um, to help keep them in line with um, their natural growth and development. So it's a really awesome page for those early stages. Next up is Attitude Magazine, and it's um, help and resources for ADHD um, for those children and people um, who experience ADHD to help them with and through that and to give you very valuable resources along that journey. I think this is great regardless of diagnosis or not. It just helps you be more aware of what's going on around us and how we should allow ourselves to interact as well as our children to interact with others. Moving on to food. So I have a child that loves to eat and then a child who's like, hey, food, do I have to? So feeding little has been very helpful along our journey. It goes from, through everything from choking hazards to um, grocery lists. Um, it gives you a course in baby led weaning and all of the above. Baby Judy, who's not a baby, as you will see, actually also provides very awesome comic relief. But it gives you real life examples of struggles you experience at feeding time with your children sometimes, as well as how to help navigate those journeys to help get your children eating and to help make that process of eating a lot easier. Staying in the theme of food, Kids Eating Color is another wonderful page and definitely helps with my picky eater and it helps me figure out how to squeeze in the veggies and what to feed kids and how to best go about the process when you feel like you just lost hope and there's nothing else you can do. There are really amazing recipes here that I mean I think everyone in the family could also enjoy but she gives very awesome resources um, and tools to help try to help you grow the healthiest um, and best eaters that you possibly can. Another wonderful page to check out, to reference anytime, and to go to in a save. Healthy little foodies I found early on, and because I'm a healthy adult foodie, it, it was very awesome to help me into getting my child to explore a variety of foods. Yummy Toddler Food is another page that does the exact same. My kiddos and I love to cook together and to eat together, so I find these resources to be very valuable in helping us explore things that are a little bit outside of our, our norm or to just get into having a bit more variety when it comes to what we eat. This is the last stop on this list. I'm sure to do a part two, maybe three or four. I'll make sure to leave all the links and everything to these pages below and I hope you found something valuable. Thank you.